Okay, more updates for my documentary here. So, uh, it's a small update. So I, I did wind up replacing that, uh, that freewheel uh, tensioner for, um, for the, the motor to a bigger one. This is the original one. This green, this red guy here. I didn't know all of these are made out of plastic, but, um, the bike shop was nice enough to give it to me for free. They had a box full of used ones, so I had um, I had a larger one and a smaller one. Here they are, and um, they have all the spacers and stuff. That's good, but but these guys are too big. I have one. There's one that's a straight, I think. Or is this a, there's an offset one too. Yeah, this is an offset one. So that would have meant, that might have came in handy. I don't know, but anyway, these were too big, so I went with a smaller one, and it just it is almost touching, almost. Kind of hard to tell, but let's see if I can get the camera in there. Yeah, it's like almost touching the sprocket, but it doesn't. And I tried it, and it doesn't slip as much. I'll try it again today. Uh, I want to do a little range test. All right, I've uh, I've, I've made these little loop back plugs for the power um, the power locks wire this for the switch. So it kind of acts as like a kind of like a key, sorta. I made two of them. I, I still have to solder solder the end of the bike, but um, but yeah, basically it just loops it and then it turns it on. So it kind of acts like a key. And I just have to carry this around with me. So I made two of them. One of them I'm probably going to put a on-off switch, a toggle switch, so so I can turn it off that on and off that way. But this is nice. It's kind of like a key, and I use like Tamiya connectors. So I don't know what connectors that are on the bike. So. And what I have to change is uh, is right here. So this is what I'm changing. See my little my little jumper here. I'm going to get rid of that. That's that's too ghetto. <laughs> I'm probably going to mount it somewhere here. I cleaned up the wiring too. I, whatever wires I didn't use, I could probably cut them, but who knows, maybe I could use them later. I just tucked it up under the seat. And uh, so the motor wire is kind of exposed here. Probably just going to get some kind of cover, or maybe I'll get a, some kind of shrink tubing, cut it, and then, uh, and then zip tie it on just to keep some moisture out of there. Like in the in the event that I I do have to ride in the rain, or if I get caught in the rain, I definitely don't want to ride in the rain as much as possible. Um, it, it'll protect that wire from getting shorted. And these ones all have shrink wrap and everything. This will go in here. Also thinking of getting a, a saddle bag. I think they sell saddle bags for the front here, but uh, I can get one. I think I can flip it around and put it here. This would be a great place to put a saddle bag. It'll drop down here. It might cover the suspension a little, but I could put the battery on each bag, so that'll be great. Yep. All right. Well, here I'm. I'm doing some uh, range testing today. Uh, I've got a single uh, 5,000 milliamp uh, battery hooked up right now. I got two of them in there, but uh, but I only have one hooked up right now. And um, I want to see what kind of range I can get. I'm going to do it on my computer here. Could probably brought a GPS, but. Let's see, I think I can hold this guy down. Okay, there. So we're at zero miles. So we'll see how long I can get just, uh, just on electric power it itself. And uh, so I, I was able to install this, um, this power lock jumper. It's a permanent one. I just use it to me a connector. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna mount it. I'm just gonna let it hang out here for now. Probably gonna add a switch to it later. Or actually, that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to Lowe's. See where if I can get a switch. And also, I need to add a fuse to this too, just in case it uh, over overheats or something. And uh, oh, here's a here's a better shot of the, the tensioner pulley that I installed. It's much bigger. It's actually almost the same size as the the main, the, the motor sprocket. So, yep. So, we'll see. I'll do, I'll probably do a climbing test too while I'm at it.
Alright, so far I ran about 1.37 miles and I'm gonna do some climbing tests. They won't even hear the battery too much, but this is a little hill I like to play on. Here it goes. Yeah, it, uh, you definitely need to pedal when you're going up hill, but doing it. Doing it with ease. Alright, go down. Oh, I got another idea. Maybe uh maybe climbing is too much for the motor and the battery to handle for overheating. Okay, I'm gonna set this on a tripod and then you can watch me go up there. Okay, well hopefully that's good. Here I go. Okay, well, I'm not sure my little battery alarm is, is beeping. Uh, maybe this battery is not charged. It's not even that warm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I didn't charge this one. I'm gonna switch to the other pack. Alright, I don't know what happened, but the battery is dying. So, uh, I'm gonna try to fart around on these trails before it's really dead. It starts beeping, beeping. Let's see what trails out here. Because who knows where. Oh yeah, got up that <laughs> barely. Now the problem is traction. get far I only got about like a mile and a half before the start the battery started beeping. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a fresh one in and reset the trip meter. Man, I've never been here before. I've never gone here before because it was too steep to go over that thing. Alright, no more farting around now. I, I double checked the voltage before I plugged it in and it said 25 volts, so here it goes. Try to use this distance. No pedaling.
Okay, I well, just got done going to the bank. I'm gonna head back now for a trail. Should have a tailwind, so I should be able to go a little faster. And so far, I'm about 1.6 miles. Battery. This is all stealthy. Well, we, with the except for the exception of uh, these, all these wires and stuff hanging out of the bike. Like it's you can't you can barely tell. Like maybe you, know, you see the motor sticking down there, but it still looks like a bicycle. It's great. All right, here at Lowe's, uh, this is what I'm looking for: fuse holder. I don't have a fuse of any sort on the bike, so. I'll make sure I carry a bunch of these guys around. I have a big collection from the junkyard, so now I just need to find a switch. Just got out of Lowe's and uh, headed back now. Uh, it's getting really windy now. So I don't want to get back. Oh, this uh, bridge here.
there it goes. So about five miles per charge. Okay, so it's about 3.67 per cell. It's less than 3.7, so uh, I'm gonna start pedaling with it now. So um, it's about five miles. That's the max range on one pack, fully charged. All right, see that hill? I'm trying to go up it. Go. I think it will make it no problem. Let's pedal a little. Let me pedal a little bit. Stick it in the low gear. Full throttle. to go really fast and go into the lowest gear to go up here but no problem I'm the hill climbing king now He's pissed off at me. But it's a it's a crazy feeling where <laughs> it's like you can kinda have like a turbocharger hooked up to your bike. Like you're pedaling, pedal a little bit, and then you turn the assist on. It's like it feels like something is pushing you, you know? Hey quackers, hey quackers, watch out! 